There's a little bit of pixie dust, magic dust on this team a little bit. There's some groundwork for something special here, isn't there? Yeah, I think on it this offseason we put a lot of time and effort into working hard, like coming together as a team. Like offseason workouts have been going really well. Everyone's working. Everyone's been hanging out a lot. I feel feel really good about this season. Got, this team can do some special things. By the way, at practice the other day, I, I told the team, I said, Willikus looks pretty good. And he goes, yeah, I know he does. So, good job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Like, what did you see? The experience as a walk-on, what was it different? What can you look back and see that was different that you went through versus the scholarship players? Like, what were the biggest differences? Um, I'd say some of, some of the main differences each day I came out and had to try to prove myself. You know, I was worthy of a scholarship. I think the uh, Michigan State coaches did a really good job of making, they didn't care if I was a walk-on or a scholarship player, if I was going to work hard and do the right stuff, they were going to put me in a position to play. So it was pretty similar along the road, but being a walk-on kind of gave me a chip on my shoulder to work that much harder each and every day. But I mean, like, like were there certain advantages that scholarship players have with their training table or certain academic support? Or like, I mean, what, like, just like kind of... Core things that were different for you that you that you now can see that you get as a, as a scholarship. Player. It really wasn't that different, to be honest. The academics, we have uh, walk on to the training table now. Treat like it's pretty much they treat us all the same. It was always kind of a joke, and my roommates would all get their check. I said, "Oh, where's mine?" Or we always make jokes about it. But at the end of the day, the coaches here all treat us the same, which is really cool. Was there ever a time where you? Maybe somebody doubted you. Uh, would have, I assume this was a goal for a long time. Was a uh, point that people were oh yeah, especially when I committed, I heard a lot of people say, "Oh, you're so dumb. You're never gonna play there. You should have just taken a B2 scholarship." But that was kind of also helped put a chip on my shoulders. I wanted to prove them wrong. I, I had people telling me I can't do anything. So what would have been your other option? Or your second option? I had a preferred walk-on from Minnesota, which is where I was going to go until I contacted Coach Staten, and then just some smaller D2 offers like Wayne State, Ferris State. Did you get it from GVSU? Uh, GVSU never offered me. I went to a visit, but they never offered me. So you kind of feel validated if you keep your choice you made today? Yeah, I'm very happy I made this choice. I was talking to Mike about your work ethic. You wanted this. You wanted the opportunity to play every um, it's kind of all still surreal. I mean, in my eyes, I'm just a small kid from Grand Rapids, Michigan, you know, trying to play for my dream. I dream of playing at a Big Ten school, but I mean, my work's not done yet. I mean, I had a decent spring game, and I'm getting a little bit of media attention, but I want to prove myself on the field before I really think I'm worthy of any of this. Uh, it makes me feel really good because I try to be someone that's coachable. I try taking their coaching. Uh, we have excellent coaches. They've developed me incredibly. Um, still, same thing as I want to prove myself in the field. It doesn't matter until I can make plays on Saturdays.